Yeah. Yes, then I did the next yeah. two, and then you did the next. It, it was, was actually basically so. It, it wasn't really like just the draft, but getting down the like the storyline, the the foundation. We uh, basically like you know okay because. A lot of people, when they found out I was making this, oh, it's like a biopic. No, no, it, it's it's really not. It's focused on one particular event of his life, not like his story from kid growing up. The line, most of the lines were in English or in Tagalog? It's uh, English. Uh, English, yeah, yeah, yeah. English. That's what we. Uh, yeah, but we also got the help of Maki for I'm, the Tagalog line. Yeah, I'm Cebuano, so I'm not a native Tagalog. English now in Sidin. Yeah, I think it was also we broke up certain parts like okay I'll, I'll focus on the with the Filipino politicians then you have the Jewish scenes mm, yeah. and then Maki can also write some on the like the couples because we we changed the writing changed mm -hmm. so much in the lifespan of the screenplay um, that we were just bouncing it off yeah. um, I think at some point each of us rewrote all of the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Actually, um, Go a, ahead, lot of, a lot of my scenes, we had to do it twice. Um, isang version ng English, isang version ng Tagalog. Oh, Para daw makapamili sila kung mm. alin daw yung mas gusto. Kasi depende, di ba? I mean, syempre for the market dito sa Pilipinas, mas magugustuhan nila na mas maraming Tagalog. And at the end of the day, parang nag-decide si Direk which was more effective. So Which is, I don't decide that. Nagwagi ang Tagalog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Parang mas heartfelt in, in most cases. Ako na Actually, na Sorry, I'm Sorry, I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm Okay, you're good, Nadine. Uh -huh. Here's a question for our friend dear? Christina from Push. PH. Hello, po. I'm Christina. Um, to, to Sir Raymond, binigyang buhay ko si Manuel Quezon sa pelikulang ito. Pero ikaw, as an actor and as a man, what did you get? What did you learn from him? Well, uh, so much. It's so much. Hindi lang isa. Kasi I get to be the man for the span of time of shooting. Actually, hindi lang shooting because prior to that, pinalas ko yun, nagpasapan na po ng articles about him. I don't have the time to read a whole book. Kasi one month lang in preparation, pretty much, when I found out na ako yung napili nila si Kejon. Um, I was fascinated. Uh, actually, pinaparod ko siya all day sa YouTube yung mga, yung mga speeches niya. While also, not just because I was studying him, but I was absorbing and observing him. And then I remember, um, simultaneously, papanoodin ko yung uh, speeches ni Marcos. And pinukumpare ko the two. Kasi for me, Marcos was just... Uh, an example of uh, intelligence, wit, and uh, something spontaneous. He would just uh, say something so deep and uh, profound. At, um, I just saw that Sikazan uh, was more lively, more intelligence and a quiet, yung kay Marcos and intelligence, uh, but he was very, very real, authentic. Pinakita ko yung Sikazan was actually more than authentic. I felt he was really giving to the people some of speeches. You know, when, he, when he speaks to people, he gives his heart, his whole body. So when I shake hands, I see him coming out. And I see him with gestures. The gestures are big. And he smiles. When he smiles, he really smiles. When he jokes, he really jokes. I mean, he really, really gives so much of himself. So that, that's part of it while I was studying that. But um, um, about Kezon, he's, he's a great man. Of course, uh, his intricacies as a uh, in character, nya, as a uh, superhuman at the same time, um, pagiging very ordinary, loving um, husband. May mga bias siya. He likes to drink. Maybe siya minum and scotch with his friend, with his American friends. Maybe uh, siya tobacco. That's why he died of uh, tuberculosis. Uh, but he works hard at the same time. But he also is a uh, Pretty, pretty uh, well-rounded poker player. So that made it more interesting. Yung presidente mo naging taong tao na nag-enjoy ng buhay, may hindi tumawa, may hindi mag-joke at nakikip party. Pero serious siya sa daytime as a president. Um, so aside from knowing him as a as a personal character, I learned. Uh, Maramay ako na tutunan sa pagiging Pilipino ko na 
ang Pilipinas kasi hindi lang si Quezon ang gumawa na dahil hindi kaya ang gawin ni Quezon mag-isa. He couldn't do it himself. So, nung, nung uh, worst, nung talagang uh, wala na silang choice, na, naka, nakasalala yun sa buong populasyon ng, ng Pilipinas. So, to give greatness to Quezon is uh, just to touch the tip of the iceberg. Ang nasa yung pusong Pilipino ang nagbigay sa kanya ng lakas ng loob at nag, uh, nag-udyok sa Amerika na pumayag. So, doon ko nakita na kahit maliit na bansa lang tayo, amongst the first world countries, and uh, para bang wala pa tayo sa mapa eh, di ba? Kasi lagi tayo nakocolonize eh. We don't have our own power yet. Yet, we, we went out of our way to help a people, a super people, super people yan eh, Germans, right? They're super people, but they needed our our country's help. Maliit lang tayo. Pero nakita ko, ang puso natin, lampas-lampas sa kakayanan ng iba. Okay, um, sir, knowing all of that, how do you think, if he's with us now, how do you think he'd react to the result of the recent elections? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if I could jump in oh, here. <laughs> if I could jump in here. Um, there are things that, uh, part of the reason why I was, uh, why I was inspired to write uh, the story of the health writing. Part of the reasons I wanted to was this is a story about a Filipino president who saved lives. Saved lives. Mm-hmm. Wow. He did it while he was dying. Mm-hmm. In the face of death, he was dying of tuberculosis and he chose to save. And that's all I have to say about that. Beautiful. <laughs> they sound like Forrest, though. <laughs> 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 Lord, it's timely and timeless. Cousins gave this. You're good, that, eh? No, Raymond, yung question niya kasi sinagot mo, di ba? She forgot that. Like the word, can you hold it down? Charot lang. Haba na. Haba na. Just kidding. And for your last question, dear, para kanino? Miss Rachel. Um, to Miss Rachel, um, anong scene dito sa pelikula ang hindi mo makakalimutan? Any unforgettable scenes? No. Okay. Um, oh, spoiler, but <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? My most when well, I when I watched it um, during uh, like a week ago during the the premiere that we had. Um, um, for me, a pinaka powerful scene was um, when they were going through the list of names. And kasi there's a point there na malalaman nila, wala well, sa trailer naman, so hindi na rin siguro spoiler, di ba, na mababalitaan nila na hindi nag-grant ang mga visa para sa, para makapasok yung mga gusto nilang isave. And there's one scene na very, very quiet and tinitignan nila yung listahan na kailangan nilang mag kung alin, sino yung hindi makakapasok. And ang bigat-bigat noon and talagang wow, talagang kikilabutan kayo, tulong na lang yung luha niyo because they were so good in that scene. It was just a very quiet scene and it was just a group of men basically sharing a very heavy load. Yun yun eh. Um, and what that means na nasa kamay nila kung sino yung mabuboy at mamamatay. So hindi ko yung scene, <laughs> pero yun yung para sa akin isa sa pinaka talagang tagos sa puso. Okay, thank you. I'd like to ask the other cast members, how did you get, did, did, did you guys also audition? Because uh, parang dalawa lang ang Filipino actors dito na kilala ko. But the rest, very vital yung mga roles niyo. Let's start with uh, Paul. Paul here. I had a relatively small role, but I was um, advised early on that they needed somebody to hate. <laughs> uh, and so I was, uh, rather than have lots of different people... But you're not from here, you're, you're not from here, I mean... Well, know. I, like Matthew, I've lived here more than half my life. Oh, I'm wow. Here. But I'm still not going to be speaking in Tagalog at the moment. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, no, so they, they, they have all these... I mean, there were people who were against the idea of bringing lots of Jews, or perhaps even any Jews, mm-hmm. into the Philippines. One of the primary reasons being that the Philippines was not yet an independent nation. It was a, a protectorate of, part of, part of um, 
ownership of, of the United States. So it was foreseen that they would use many of them, the Philippines, as a, simply a stepping stone to get to the US. And there were lots of people in the United States at that time, uh, prior to the McCarthy era, for example, who were very intolerant of anybody who they felt was anti-American or communist or anything like this. So I had to represent all those people, basically. So I was just the anti-Semite in the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and he had see. no problem casting me there at all. 